Uh, stand up, don't worry. Huh? Don't worry. Is this your first time here? Today is my first time here. Today is your first time here. Yes. Okay, no problem. Please, man of God, help me. I'm here to listen what God is saying, man of God. You want to know what God is saying? Yes. What if you live here and we give you a wife before you live here? Uh, if, it, if it's God's will, I receive it. Hey, if it's God's will. So where do you think you are? <laughs> you know your suspicion. Hmm? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Ah, you don't know. Let me explain. I, um, yeah. The Lord called you. This young man is a calling. It's an apostolic calling. Um, the, amen. But the, the things that have been happening to you amen. is you want the power of God to move with you. That's true, man of God. Like even this prophecy, you watch, you go like, if I do this, the work of God will be easy. Yes, I want to do it, man of God. But this church is failing to grow. Yes, man of God. Yes, man of God. This is, um... <sighs> Help me, prophet. Help me, prophet. You know, my, you know why I take time, I do this and I sigh? I'm not trying to see. I've already seen what I need to see. But I'm trying to bring it down in a very nice way. You know I'm an ambassador. I have to be diplomatic. I'm in an ambassador for Christ. Some of you, of course, I'm an ambassador somewhere, but of Christ. Oh. What is this business you did for your wife? Um, what is the business? It was, uh, it was uh, a supermarket. So, I, 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 I. Uh, explain again. Groceries, we, we are selling uh, veggies. And, okay. Have you ever seen a supermarket? <sighs> no. Explain. Man, man of God, we had a, a, a small business. Eh, tell me now. And the business, what is the type of the business? How big was it? Uh, she was selling foods and then mm. uh, she had uh, other businesses with uh, selling shoes and all these ah. different things. Okay. But what time do they close these things in your country, in your knowledge? What time do these businesses close? Like, you know, if you go to town there, they close at 7. What time do they close? Around 6. Around 6? Yes. <laughs> you now you understand. I know. I what understand. was the time your wife would come from home after business? Around 1 a.m. Around 1 a.m. Yes. Now you know what I'm saying. Your suspicion was correct. <laughs> Help me, man of God. You know your suspicion? Hmm? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Ah, you don't know. Let me explain. I, yes, man of God. I'm freeing you because now they are trying to say, oh, you did this. Hey, you did that. Hey, you did this. You did this. And they are trying yes. to say you are the one with girlfriends. Yes, that's Yet, true. They are trying to accuse you for having a lot of girlfriends. Yes. Yet your wife was coming at 1 a.m. after yes, closing yes, at 7. Man of God. That's true. That's true. Your suspicion is correct. That's true, man of God. That is what I was suspecting, man of God. Son, let me tell you something. Uh, yes, prophet. This might have been your first time here. But we are going to unction you for the prophetic. I receive. For healing. I receive, man of God. And when we unction you for that. Amen. You will go back to Botswana. I come from Botswana, man of God. I come from Botswana. And when you get to that location, miracles will be happening everywhere. I miracles. Receive in the name of Jesus. Isn't it amazing? How you are the one, the person is coming at one. And they are the ones who choose to say, I will leave you. <laughs> yeah, that's true, man of God. She left me with my son, man of God. So you were wondering, why are we giving someone who is married a wife? Eh? Yes, 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 yes. Fear women, fear women. My son, listen, we need to give you someone Amen. that comes home on time. I'm ready for everything today. Amen. Someone who comes home on time. Yes, man of God. Mm -hmm. yes, oh, they are here, they are here. They are online, they are everywhere. <laughs> they respect the man of God. Amen. Let me tell you something. In churches, we just grab someone like this and say, yes, sir, say, 
I will not leave you through thickness, through whatever. That thing should come with a lot of caution. Maybe you don't know Albert Einstein was the most intelligent person of his time. Yet the wife left him. We should have it in our vows as we give people. Tell your wife, yes, through thickness, through death, through whatever, eh, till death do us part. Then we warn them. This thing you are about to attempt, what is your IQ? Because if the most intelligent person on earth divorced, this marriage is for scientists. <laughs> My prophet, she actually said the words that we were saying, like the time that we were getting married. She said what? The vows. <laughs> <laughs> me. She, she said she would never leave you. Yes. Ma'am. You believed it. I, I believed him, this man of God. Sir, say, I will not leave you through thickness, through whatever. Son, look from there. Look from that corner. All over this room, from that corner. Look, look. See that corner? To that corner. Even if you look in the. See how many people are here? Some are in the balconies. I assure you, 65% of these ones are women. <laughs> yes, prophet. And they will not come home at 1 a.m. <laughs> help me, prophet. We are going to help you, don't worry. Thank we you. are doing registrations after this. Thank you. A good news world with Hubert Angel, provoking a reaction and always worth hearing.